Hello, my lovelies. Ginio here, the author with no last name. And we're back with more Big Farm Story, the farm game with a story put out by Good Game Studios. And what we are doing currently is we're working through our little, uh, our, well, now smaller list of what they call friendship anecdotes. So these are uh, smaller stories that you earn from increasing the friendship level with the different characters. And you can increase your friendship level to level six. However, most of the characters only have one little friendship antidote and it's unlocked, I believe, at level two. So, and there are still characters without friendship antidotes, no less. So, last time we talked to Benny, who wanted to play with the twins, and Sam, who was having a problem with her engine, and Amelia, who was working on a project for Owen for their anniversary, because they are just so sweet, which has left Owen in town. So, so I would just hope we get to another two or three during this video. Well, he was in town. Silly me. Okay. Hey, Matilda, can you give me some money? <laughs> um, sure. We can deliver some mushrooms and some, what is this? This is cabbage. So we're going to have to regrow some cabbage, it looks like. Oh, yep, see? <laughs> Oh, Owen's back working on the chair with Benny. Okay. See? Can't see my nose in front of my face. Hello there. Ginny, could you do me a favor and help me with a romantic surprise? Oh! A surprise! Okay. Shh! Not so loud. Amelia might hear. I want to surprise her with a romantic picnic. But I can't ask my children to help with this. You see how they are? They're just so sickeningly sweet. <laughs> Benny, despite all of his good intentions, is not good at keeping this type of secret. And Sam is a pro at destroying romance as soon as she smells a hint of it. Yeah, Sam does not like romance or anything to do with emotions. A romantic picnic is such a nice idea. Is it for a special occasion? Hmm? No, no special occasion required for this. I just enjoy spending time with my wonderful wife. Well, she was just talking about your anniversary, so you can't mind me asking. She always smiles in a special way when I surprise her. And the secret to romantic surprises lies in the details. I for sure need flowers. Your grandpa used to harvest the best and biggest dandelions I have ever seen. Do you think you could harvest some dandelions for me? Sure. I'll start with it right away. So, yes. No. Okay. No, unfortunately, I don't have the dandelions yet. Well, that's silly. How silly of me. Alright, so the dandelions will take a couple of days, so well, we'll have to talk to somebody else. Huh. What do you know? Now, do we even have enough? We only have three dandelion seeds. So let's plant eight dandelions. Grab five more dandelions. And these take two days. But if we're helping somebody else, that will be useful. Let's plant two seeds of dandelions. I think cabbages are grown in the other up in the mountains. Right? Yes, you grow cabbages up in the mountains. So let's go grow some cabbages in the mountains while well, I'm still thinking about it, you know. <laughs> Can be forgetful. Alright, then who else should we talk to? Well we we've still got a Something of a list. Alright. We only have three cabbage seeds. What is with that? 
All right. There we go. So we have talked to the shepherds and we're trying to finish up with the carpenters. That leaves Nathan, Rita, Claire, and Levi and Hannah. Oh, I thought I'd finished with them. Well, Levi and Hannah. I hadn't finished with them. Well, okay. Let's go talk to Levi and Hannah then. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> you forget that the little kids have their own little stories too. Because we got so caught up with Lydia in the reading. All right. Hi, Hannah. She said, hey. Okay. Jenny, can you do me a favor? Would you mind gathering some flowers for me? More specifically, marigolds. I like drawing them and using them for my paintings. I also love making small bouquets with a few of the prettier ones. Even though they're gorgeous, of all gorgeous, of course. Anyway, I like to have company, and neither Lydia nor Levi have time right now. My, 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 you have such excellent grammar, <laughs> Hannah. I'm very happy to accompany you, Hannah, and of course, I'll help you gather them. Yay! Let's go to the meadow at the Carpenter's Homestead. The most beautiful flowers grow there. I already gathered several marigolds before you asked. Don't you want those? You're missing the point. The fun part is to gather flowers. Plus, flowers smell better when they are super fresh. Okay. <laughs> All right, baby. <laughs> so she's going to make us gather the flowers. There are actually very few um, quests that actually make us do this. So let, let's look at what she wants. Um, dun, dun, dun. She wants you to gather five marigolds. Here's the thing. I don't know if I, how many marigolds I actually have. So let's go and see how many we have and clear up some rooms for some more marigolds. Okay, so I have 41 marigolds. Let's sell 10 of them, you know, because if I gather 8, that's going to put me at 49. And yeah, really, really close to what she wants. But the problem is, right now, there aren't actually any marigolds at the carpenter's farm. I need to sell some daisies, too, it looks like. Because everything's being taken up, all the little different spots are being taken up with by daisies. It's kind of funny when I do this. Alright, so now we need to go and we need to sell daisies. It's a lot better to get rid of um, flowers and stuff that Matilda's at Matilda's um, little stand here, but she doesn't always ask for flowers. She's a lot more, um, more often she tends to ask for veggies and stuff like that over flowers and, and he like the cotton here. See, there's only one marigold. Maybe there's some more marigolds at mm, the farm? Instead, you can, you, this is called being at the mercy of the randomness of the game. And I don't know if there would be any marigolds at the chestnut grove either. But let's go look at the farm to see if we have any marigolds on the farm and then we'll go to sleep. My, 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 the day passes so quickly. So see, here's a marigold here. But yeah, there are like certain spots where things appear, and it's all kind of random on what shows up. Let's take that. Turn that. Um, oh, there's another marigold. Let's grab the fish for a minute. So you, you want to clean up these areas 
Oops. Well, apparently we either have too many grass or too many feathers or something. We're, they're on the ground in case, you know, there isn't actually five marigolds. And you can then... It's being ridiculous. And so you will give it a chance the next day for marigolds to appear. See, now it's telling me it's time for it to go to bed. So she's going to be out there all night picking, picking flowers. I wonder which one it is. Let's 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 take a look real quick. Because I mean, it'd probably be better to make some rope or something. Oh, it's both flowers, it's grass and feathers. Okay. Well, like I said, it'll be easier to make some rope real quick. And rope will technically sell for more than the grass. Just because. Let's make some rope. Which uses some grass and you can... And you can sell this rope to Owen for money. There we go. All right. Now I'll get some sleep. Hmm. All right. We woke up. It's a new day. Is it raining or is it sunny? Oh, it's sunny. So he wants to be shrimp. The shrimp will only appear at the um, at the pier, and I don't have the pier unlocked. How silly. So we need to water our, water our crops real quick, and then we can start looking again for marigolds. Or, um, for Hannah. Oh, see? Actually, sometimes marigolds grow up here, too. Let's run, oh. Peaches. Harvest our peaches here. Five at a time. So we can see. Oh, there's a little bit of the valley. So we can see if there's any marigolds in this area really quick. It's not it's not many places where they appear, but it's there's always a small chance maybe you can get them. See? Glory of the snow. Hmm. Oh, I'm not seeing any. Okay. Okay. But hey, we're getting some of the uh, more rarer mountain flowers showing up. The lily of the valley there. So those are nice. Potentially, though, she won't be asking us to come up here. <laughs> Alright. Back to the farm! So, this gyro is also pretty, uh, rare. See? Where there was a daisy, there is now a marigold. No. Stick came back. The sticks keep just falling off the, falling off the trees. So there's a daisy over here. Well, hopefully there will be more flowers at the carpenters. Because I think, what, what, we got three now? Three of the five? Okay, so we've gathered enough marigolds. We can now talk to Hannah, who's still over here 
gathering flowers. There we go. These are so beautiful. Don't they look good together, Ginny? I love flowers. They're one of my favorite things in the entire world. Do you like flowers, Ginny? I love them as much as you do. I like them, or they're not really my thing. I love flowers. Oh, yay. You understand me, then. Wait. <laughs> what is it, Hannah? There, in that tree. <gasps> a... Well, look at how big that flower is. I don't think that flower is supposed to be there. I need it in my life, Jenny. Oh no, she's gonna try to climb the tree. <laughs> oh, I can't reach it. Uh, Hannah, language. <laughs> we have a ladder at home on our farm. Can you pretty please ask Lydia about the ladder? Sure. I'll be here waiting for you. Do not climb the tree, you silly goose. <laughs> I don't think that. It looks like one of, a big one of one of these, these, um, these purple ones. But I don't remember the name of right off the bat. Oh, look, I met a marigold. Right Lydia, your, your sister wants a very big flower and it's stuck in a tree. <laughs> I didn't know Hannah was so into flowers. Oh, she's loved them since she was a baby. I used to show her all the different kinds of flowers, and she'd clap and giggle. It was the most adorable thing. Well, why did you bring that up? Well, Hannah's making a new bouquet, and I'm helping her out. She's found this beautiful, huge flower, but it's way high up in a tree. And she asked me to get a ladder from you. Oh, Hannah, she's way too young to be climbing trees, even with a ladder. It's too dangerous. Yeah, I figured you might say that. Hannah is at the carpenter's homestead. Let's go, and I'll get her the flower then. <laughs> For real? You are great. Thank you. But she should still choose her flowers more carefully. I'm afraid the prettier a flower, the less she pays attention to danger. All right. Let's go. Lydia, are you coming? Yes, it is not wise to let the little toddlers... Well, I'm not sure if she's a toddler anymore. I mean... Anyway. Not let, wise to let her climb a ladder up the tree. So, here's the tree. Uh-huh. Wait, where's... <laughs> I told you to wait. <laughs> so both of them are going, Hannah, I'm worried. I did it, I did it. Are you all right? Yes. I mean I may have fallen three times. But at least I did it. I got the big flower. It's a beautiful flower, sweetheart, but you're full of bruises and scratches now. I better get you home and take care of your wounds right away. Oh, but I have run out of miracles, oh dear. Hey, we happen to have gathered some earlier. They are still very fresh. That's wonderful. When you have enough, can you please bring them to our farm? I'll bring Hannah home and examine the wounds. <laughs> so, Lydia now needs eight marigolds. Um, okay. But unfortunately, this time we don't have to actually collect them. So as long as you have eight marigolds in your inventory, you can go back to the shepherds and give them to her. Oh dear, she's so silly. It's nice to see you. Here you go. I brought them with me as fresh as promised. They're really wonderfully fresh. Thank you. I'll quickly prepare the cream. I don't know if you really want to use marigolds for a bruise cream, but okay. Alright, I'm almost done. Are you happy with your flower, Hannah? Yes, I'm never ever letting go of it. 
Isn't it crazy how Lydia's fixing me up using the same flowers I wanted to use for my paintings? So they're just not pretty. They're useful, too. <laughs> That's right, dear. Thank you for all your help, Ginny. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have my big, beautiful flower. They have the adjectives wrong. They have beautiful, big. It's supposed to be big, beautiful. English is so weird. <laughs> I can't wait for us to have more fun again soon. Okay, Hannah. Thank you. Alright, and it's still kind of early in the day. Hmm. Alright, so I'm going to pause because we're getting on 20 minutes here. So let's pause. And I will run around and collect some stuff and go to sleep and so we can get the dandelions for whoever who needed oh, oh I need the dandelions. Okay, everyone, we're back. That didn't take too long for me. And as you can see, we can now harvest our dandelions to give to Owen. You'd think he'd be more like uh, <laughs> Hannah and want some marigolds or some more prettier flowers in the game. And we want to put in the wheat for to make shreds. Always keep some wheat going. So you can feed your animals. All right. There we go. All right. Oh, we have. What? What? What else do you need for your surprise? Wow! Already back with the. You know, yes, wonderful, thanks. My first bouquet I gave Amelia mainly consisted of dandelions, you know. That was a few years ago. At the time, she was studying in the big city. I didn't realize a few was 20 years, but okay. <laughs> she was studying in the big city. Of course, dandelions couldn't keep up with all the exotic flowers you can buy in the big city. But she looked overjoyed and her eyes sparkled so beautifully. And it makes me happy to see this sparkle, especially when I am the trigger for it. Wow, she's really lucky to have such a romantic husband. And I've always thought the romance faded after a couple years of marriage. <laughs> wow, she's really lucky. <laughs> Usually I'm the one who is lucky with her as a wife. Everyone has their good and bad qualities. Can you bring this invitation to Amelia, please? That will give the whole thing a mysterious touch. And it would be super nice if you could bring me some logs to the woods afterwards. I want to make a campfire for a cozy atmosphere and to keep us warm. You really think of every detail, don't you? I hope not. Everything has to be perfect. I'll go to the woods to prepare everything. All right, Amelia, here's your invitation to your mysterious picnic. I have something here for you, Amelia. An invitation. How exciting. Aw. Oh, and he's always so sweet. I wonder what he has prepared this time. I better go get ready for the date. Thanks for bringing me the invitation, Jenny. <laughs> okay. Well, so much for it being a surprise. I think, Owen, is, you're doing this too much. You've gotten a mite predictable. <laughs> or did he actually sign his name? Alright, I think he should be up here. This is a good... Yes, see, he's making a picnic by the lakeside. Here you go. Do you have the logs? Of course I have the logs. Just in time. Thanks, now I have everything I need for the perfect date. But what do you think? Did I miss something? I think it looks perfect. Hmm. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without you. 
And here's Amelia all dressed up for her date and all. Little hearts. Oh, and what a beautiful surprise. Uh, uh, delightful surprise. What a delightful surprise. See? <laughs> Amelia, I knew you would be on time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, this is getting a little uh, romantic. I better leave them to their privacy. I uh, yeah, better go. <laughs> See? So now they're going to have a lovely picnic. Isn't that so sweet? All right. It's reaching 25 minutes. Let me hide. <laughs> Let me hide. Thanks for listening. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Bless. And I'll see you in the next video.